Hi, I'm Amy on A Lolly Life. And today, I was pretending that I wasn't going to make cookies. And like, I just kept pretending I'm not actually going to make cookies. And then all of a sudden I decided, you know what? Yes, yes I am. I am going to make cookies. And the only problem with this is, recipes for cookies call for softened butter. And frequently when I make cookies, or do something like that. I don't decide that I'm going to do it until like, like I truly just like the snap of the finger. I'm like, okay, fine. I'm going to do it. And I want to do it right then. Like I am not going to wait two hours because I'm probably going to change my mind or something. And so like to make sure that I don't change my mind and not make the cookies, I have to make them right then. But my butter's not softened. And so this is the problem that we have. Whether your butter or is softened or not makes a difference. It makes a big difference. Actually, my son did a science fair project one time many, many years ago on whether the temperature of the butter affected how your cookies turned out. And let me just say, it does. And there's some science behind it. Science fair project, science behind it, hmm, yeah. But here's the thing, if your butter is too cold, it doesn't mix into the cookies well. And when it doesn't mix up well and you end up with almost like chunks of butter-ish, then your cookies turn out a little bit different. This is how his cookies turned out. When your butter is room temperature, then during the beating process, it traps more air and then you end up with fluffier cookies or fluffier cake, those kinds of things. They end up being fluffier. When your butter is too warm and maybe like liquefied, even if it's only liquefied part of the way, like you microwaved it and it's like part of it's melted and part of it's not, not only does your batter end up like stickier and it doesn't cook as, you know, you have to cook it longer and things like that, but the air bubbles that would be inside the batter that you might get from beating it up, they collapse. And so then you end up with something that's a lot denser than what it should be. And it takes about one or two hours for it to reach room temperature. And actually, interestingly enough, room temperature is not the temperature that you think it is. When they talk about room temperature butter, I believe that it's like 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius. That's considered room temperature butter. Basically what that means is that your butter, you can mush it, but it retains its shape. When you are putting butter out at room temperature, you want to make sure that, you know, you're, you don't stack your butter. Like you need to, when you set it down, you need to make sure that they each have their own area and that you don't, you know, stack them on top of each other. Because when you stack your butter, then it decreases the amount of surface area that they have, like they're both missing a whole side of, of surface area. And so that is the trick to softening butter faster is increasing the surface area. Watch this. This is the way that I recommend getting your butter to the correct temperature quickly. Butter, fresh from the refrigerator. So it's rock hard, but we're going to fix that. Butter, 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 butter. Cha, 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 cha. Cutting board, knife, butter. Let's get it unwrapped. What we're going to do is we're going to chop it in half. Flip it over and chop it in half again. Now you end up with four sticks of butter. Chop each one of these sticks into smaller pieces. And we're going to set them off to the side over here and do it to the other one.
So we have our butter all chopped up and spread out a little bit here and a little bit there so that they're not touching each other too much because this is, increases the surface area of the butter. We do that first and then we go collect everything we need for our cookies. Guess what, it only took about five minutes to collect all of my ingredients. And so now the recipe calls for uh, to mix the flour, baking soda, and salt together in a bowl before you do the other. And sometimes I do that and sometimes I don't. Today we're gonna do that because I didn't soften my butter. And when you chop the butter up like this, you have to let it set for about 10 minutes before it's actually room temperature. 10 minutes is not very long, but it only took me five minutes to get my stuff out. That means I need to mix my flour and stuff first. We're gonna check and see if our butter is the correct temperature and we do that by giving it a tainty squash. If it cracks, like this one, it's not the correct temperature yet. You'll have to wait a minute or two longer. I can squish it and it does not crack. That means that it is room temperature. La, 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 the cookie dough is done. Whether you cook the cookies or not is entirely up to you. <laughs> I will be cooking a few. And then I will be dying of some weird disease that I'm going to get from eating raw cookie dough. And I'm not even going to care. Cookie dough. Looks yummy. There is another way to soften the butter and it is slightly faster than chopping it up and that is smashing the butter so this is how you increase the surface area in a slightly different way use some parchment paper or wax paper or even a zipper baggie take your butter out of the wrapper Use a rolling pin or something else, like if you have a meat tenderizer, maybe you could use that. I don't know. But what we're going to do look at that. It's already smashed a little bit. Flip for fun because you don't really actually have to. already just like that and if you don't think that it's soft enough you can actually just wait another minute or two but with that much surface area see how flattened that is how much surface area that has that will get to room temperature significantly faster than just a regular stick of butter still in the wrapper The flatter that you make it, the bigger and wider that you make it, the faster it comes to room temperature. And then you just peel it off and you have a slab of butter instead of, whoa. You have a slab of butter instead of like a stick of butter. But this butter is at room temperature and the other butter is not. 
And with that, we are done with our very buttery episode. Whoa. Oh, shoot. That was not good. <laughs> yeah, that's not good at all. It's probably going in the trash. And with that, we're done with our very buttery episode of A Lolly Life. See you next time, friend.